Okay, guys. So I am about to do my first trial yeah. of yeah. my um. Hey. What am I doing? My quick weave, real quick. So I got my helper, Dakota. Say hey, Dakota. Hey. Okay. So y'all know what I need. I seen it on um Forever Chrissy's um YouTube channel. So I got my bobby pin just to hold my hair, my hair clip, and I got two um stocking caps that I'll be using. I'm at my my mom's house, y'all. My flat iron and my blow dryer. So yeah. So let me get everything. I got some old hair from Traces of Fiji that I had. Cause so I washed it. So now it's just here. I feel it dry. I can blow dry it. So do it. Yes. Dakota's gonna blow dry. What? You gotta turn it. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Okay, try it. There you go. So she's gonna blow down my hair. And yeah. So as you guys can see here, I already have my hair braided. So my mom braided my hair for me. It's just something simple because it just be protected for a couple of weeks. And um and I left some leave out. So So I am not um at home. I had to be at one house. Well, I had to be. It's better to be at home. So y'all ignore the background or oh, whatever. You have to get out while I do this because. Okay, so I got my stocking cap. Hopefully, it's the right one. I got two stocking caps. Like I said, I watched um Forever Chrissy's video. Going to quick weave, and I said, why pay somebody to do my hair when I can just do it myself? So, I guess I'll put this one on first. Y'all, this might be too thick. <laughs> but, hopefully it's the right one. But I got this one, too. So, um... Okay, so we're gonna put this one on first. My hair is pulled up so in the cute. back. So, we're gonna put this one on first. Okay, and then you put that one on. This one might be too thick, y'all, but well, this one is made for the part wig. I'm gonna put this one on top of it. Y'all, the color is running her mouth. So, y'all. Don't judge me. It's my first time doing it, so we're gonna see how this works. Yeah, that's so cute. Yeah, make it look so Let's try it. Okay. I got Close the door back, please. Okay. Okay, I have this one. I need to do the line. Okay, so as you guys can see. Okay. 
this is real really like where i got my my brain stop at but i still want to get like a um something that i could distinguish so when i go i know what parts to stop at what part not so let me find something right back and you can see right here i'm just um taking track by track to um glue on my hair so this is my first time y'all so please don't judge me but i think i did pretty good but it was um real easy doing it so and i also to like blow dry some of the tracks to make it you know stay longer so yeah, it's pretty much me doing that i look now i look back at it, i look so crazy doing it but it came out cute and also too um i use like a um a eyeliner pencil to i um to line the rim of my hair was being left out so yeah and right here i was actually done at the top i was done basically with almost everything now just me to fill in the top so i put a little piece in the back um right there just trying to fill in some spots and this kind of was hard for me to um like feel what my hair was so i think like i probably cut it a little too soon but it still came out good i added some pieces at the top i'm using no school <laughs> no school scissors so i cut the first layer of it off and um I'm getting ready to cut the second part off. And I kind of lined it up perfectly actually. I'm cutting this. I had like a little bit of the side still left on there. And I still got some on now because it just kind of like helped me protect it and to keep it um like stuck on my head. Then I cut like the fabric um cap part off as well. And as you can see, I still had like a little pieces to fill in. So that's what I was um looking at there. And I filled some pieces in. So yeah. And I cut a little bit of the of those sides off so my um edges could be out. So I was cutting there as you can see. And I want to say yeah I think I probably left that piece on. Cause I didn't want to cut too much, but this side I did cut all of it off. So yeah, and I was so surprised how like it still stayed on my head, like it's still on my head now, after like two weeks. So um, I'm just cutting around. And it kind of laid pretty flat as well, too. Like I said, this is a trace of the Fiji hair, some old hair that I had. So and at this point, I filled all the way up to the top. So now this is just the end piece of it. And right here, I think I was on the phone, y'all. So just ignore me. Well, you can't hear anything I'm saying, right? but like I said, so at this point, um, I was just kind of just uh, feeling through my hair to make sure everything is stuck on. And I'm um, honestly like, um, it was like no glue left on my head at all. So no glue got into my hair. And I'm probably will show you guys a video of me taking it out as well. But um, it kind of laid pretty flat. I got, I got down to the top and everything. So it was kind of pretty secure on my head. So at this point now, I'm just trying to go through and like curl my hair. And y'all, I haven't picked up a curling iron over, I want to say, about a year and a half. So it's kind of was hard for me to curl my hair. Like, I'm not sure if anybody else could. Like, sometimes I get one side to curl one way and the other side to curl the other way. I hate it. But next time, I'll probably use my um my wand curler. So, I was talking to my mom here. She kept trying to figure out how um how I get the cap to stay on my head. Because she seen the beginning part. And I put the cap on my head. She was like, where's the cap? So, but yeah, so it's pretty secure on my head. I'm really pleased with it. And I forgot what type of curl iron I, um, I use. I'll probably post this out of the description box for you guys. And then I didn't press my hair out until the next morning. 
because I had to leave and do something, but you guys will see in the video. And also, I do kind of want to say that the traces of Fiji, traces of Fiji hair does hold up so great. Like, if y'all are in Atlanta or um, even wherever you guys at, y'all should order some traces of Fiji hair. Like, I want to say I had this hair probably for over, I, I want to say three years, probably, yeah, about three years. And every time I buy hair, I buy from traces of Fiji. But I haven't bought hair in a minute because um, my hair have been in braids. But... I said, let me go back to my old Tracy Fiji hair. But I'm going to probably buy some new one, some new hair and do like a bob, a quick weave bob. So, you know, look out for that. But this Tracy Fiji hair does hold up well. Just want to note that. Y'all, this is the point where my mom kept trying to figure out, like, how how's my hair hanging on? She was like, so you sold the cap on? And I was like, no. But, um, yeah, like, you can sew it on if you want to. It just depends on, you know, your personal preference. But, yeah, I did glue it on because I didn't have time or I didn't want anybody to sew my hair or ask anybody. So, I did it myself. But the cap, like I said, is very secure. My mom was really surprised. So, I'm happy with the results. And y'all can see I have like zero technique when it comes to curl nine. Like, I need some classes. Y'all, like, I don't know what I was doing. Okay, guys, this is the final look. <laughs> Excuse me, I've been crying. But this is the final look. I've, I really forgot how to curl my hair, but yeah. My natural hair blended in real nice with it. And this is it. I probably have to, but just sit with me so I can put you guys in the back and everything. So, yeah, this is it. I am so proud of myself. Like, this is my first natural quick weave that I did, and I feel like it came out great. So, yes. So, hope you guys like it. And I'm gonna fix the nose right here. So, it really didn't take no time. The reason why it kind of took time, um, well, like the part where I had to, uh, the part where I had to um, glue everything in with the cap and everything, I want to say it probably took about an hour or less. Probably about an hour or less. And um, But it just took me a little minute because I had to leave. And um, I said, I'm at my mom's house, so I had to leave and being distracted by some things. This little piece right here, my natural hair. Okay, I'll bring that in later. But um, I had to leave or whatever and um, go see about my mom and stuff. So that's the only reason why it took longer. And then um, last night, last night I um, I tied my hair down. And then this morning I just pressed out my natural hair. And I'm just so happy that it um blended in so well because I think so because I had just got a silk press in um in December. So. I really like it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So definitely, I will be doing more of these tutorials. 
and everything excuse my background like i said i'm at my mom's house and my mom's bathroom so um thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe um to me monster chew and make sure you guys follow me on instagram at monster chew and um yeah so uh thank you guys for watching and joining me on my journey with my first quick week bye and have a good day.